They're hungry, thirsty and exhausted after walking through remote mountains for days. These people from Iraq's Yazidi minority fled when they were attacked by fighters from the Islamic State group 10 days ago. Some tried to fight back. We put our families into the mount and we stayed behind fighting. We continued to fight for four consecutive hours until the armoured vehicles reached our barricades. We came down from the mount and walked for more than 12 hours until we reached the road. We were later transported by cars into Syria. We pray to God to punish those responsible. Now they've reached the relative safety of Iraq's Kurdistan province. This floating bridge was originally set up to carry aid from Iraq to Syria. Now it's a lifeline for the tens of thousands on the run. Other families have made it over the border into neighbouring Turkey, where they register with authorities. From now on, these tents will be their homes. Many of the Islamic State fighters that they ran away from themselves feel marginalised by the last Iraqi government. They've embraced radical Islam and they've attacked and killed Yazidis and people from other religious groups. Officials say the arrivals urgently need help. The majority of the displaced are old people and young children. What we need most at the moment is food supplies. But as the number of the refugees is rising, the situation is getting more difficult. The first aid supplies have arrived, much needed medicines and vaccines. Meanwhile, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has urged the world to do more for Iraqi civilians. And while they may be safer here, life will still be tough for months to come. They don't know when it will be safe to go home. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera.